All right, so I don't usually make how-to videos, but today I'm gonna be running the overhead on this Cummins N14. And so first thing I need to do is gain access to it. So I'm gonna take the intake, the valve covers, and the jakes off. Uh, to get at everything, I'm gonna bar my engine over to where the timing mark says A. Here's a quick look at my notes that I use. Exhaust is gonna be set to 27, 15 on the intake. My firing order is 153624. I'm gonna bar my engine over to A. I'll set cylinders one and six, B, two and five, C, three and four. That's the basics. I'm not gonna get all wordy with you. I'm just gonna jump in and show you. Okay, jakes are off. Got everything out of the way. But, uh, ga old gaskets off. And uh, time to bar the engine. Okay, quick tip uh, for turning your engine over. It uh, works really well to go off that, that main pulley right there. It is a 33 millimeter, so same size as your lug nuts, and uh, you can fit that in there. Uh, I use a cheater bar on the end of a ratchet, and what we're looking for is, I marked it in red there, there's your pointer, and there's our first timing mark on this pulley. I also put a little red mark on it. It has a letter A next to it. It's really hard to make out, but it is there, letter A. So. We're ready to start adjusting them. Okay, so cylinder number one is adjusted. Just using my fuel gauges in between and take an exhaust with the two different specs I gave you earlier. Uh, use a straight screwdriver, tighten down your lock nut. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. And with your injector bottoming out, don't go real tight, but once it's snug, back it off two flats. One, two, and then lock it all back down. Now. I've barred my engine over to marking B, as in boy, and I can start on cylinder number five, because that's next in our firing order. And I just use a little paint marker just to reassure myself that I got those ones done. Keep moving on. Cylinder five is now adjusted, so I'm gonna bar my engine over here to marking number C. And I marked it on this pulley. I give you the direction of rotation also, so I'm pulling my bar down, engine's spinning this way, and that's getting my firing order correct, so now I'm going to move to cylinder number three. I know it's the correct one because my rockers have some play in it. Okay, so I'm back to marking A, which means we're going to be adjusting cylinder six now because that's the next one in our firing order. Quick tip also for you. It's easy to get your intake and exhaust valves mixed up. I know that this is my exhaust valve because it lines up with the exhaust manifold. It's right there. And my intake lines up with the intake manifold. Your exhaust is always going to have the bigger gap, the bigger spec there. That's another quick easy way to tell. But I'll show you here as I'm doing this one. Let me set the camera down. So normally these things are pretty tight because the valves pound their way up into the head. So um, I can actually adjust it. I have the nut crack loose already. I can adjust it even with my fingers. And if it's too tight, I can't fit my feeler gauge in there. And I can just move it just a little bit until I can get my feeler gauge in there. Yeah, right there. 15. Okay. So once I like that, I'm going to hold it with my screwdriver, grab my 7 8 wrench, lock the nut down, just like that. Okay, I'm going to snug it down a little bit tighter when I'm happy with it and double check it. Always go back and double check, make sure that it didn't move. Should have just a little bit of Yep, I like it. Go back, double check at 27. I still like my exhaust. Yep, right there. It's an easy smooth glide with just a little bit of drag to it. So typical that's pretty typical. You find these and they're and they're tight. You can't quite get your feeler gauge in there at spec. Back it off just a little bit and you get that correct gap. Lock it back down. So I already did my Injector, 
put some paint marks on it and move on to the next in line. So, since one, three, five, and now six are done, I'll look at my list. One, five, three, six are done. I'm gonna move on to four and then two. So I'm gonna crank the crankshaft back over to B and just continue. So you don't need to see every single one of these, but that's just a quick, quick rundown of how I do it. There we go. All buttoned up. Everything uh, fit back together correctly. Everything sounds good, operates properly. So there you have it.